Uh, this is exercise, uh, which one is it again? 7.6. 7.6. Write down the measure of the acute angle between the lines uh, y root 3x plus y plus 5 equals 0 and x minus root 3y minus 2. Okay guys, so here's what we're doing here. Is we're going to use y equals mx plus c. We're going to get a... Uh, we're going to get that on its own starting off, okay? So what we're going to do is we're going to get y equals minus root 3x minus 5. Slope of this one is minus root 3. That's for the black line here. For the red line, we're going to get a x. We're going to get root 3y. When we bring it over to the right-hand side, equals x minus 2. We're going to uh, divide by root 3. And we're going to get x over root 3 uh, minus 2 over root 3. Slope in this one, m2, is going to be 1 over root 3 because it's whatever number comes in front of the x. Okay? Then we're going to enter them into the form. We're going to get tan theta equals uh, okay, minus root 3 minus 1 over root 3 divided by 1 uh, plus m1, which is minus root 3. And then we're going to multiply that by 1 over root 3. Uh, would somebody get Let's begin okay so we enter the fraction button in we're going to get minus root 3 plus fraction button oh sorry minus now make sure you press the right button there minus uh, fraction 1 over root 3 you can all be done in one one go which is brilliant okay then it's going to be 1 plus minus root 3 times 1 over root 3 Oh, sorry, I made a mistake there. So it's going to be root 3. And then press the right button there. And then we have to do by 1 over root 3. Shh. Okay, so that's it there. It's actually a decent bit of input, to be fair. Okay, but like, there's no point, no point risking a mistake when it can be all done in one go. Now, I have a maths error, okay? Maths error usually means I've used the wrong minus sign somewhere along the way. So we'll see where I might have done it. I think it's up here. I think I should have used the uh, big minus sign here. Maths error again. Okay. Now, in case like this, okay, what well, I might sometimes you're better off to enter from scratch, okay? So we'll have a look again root 3 minus root 3 that's okay that should be ah you're, we're getting 1 minus 1 on the bottom that's the problem there okay we're getting 1 minus 1 on the pro bottom okay so alright guys so we do me a favor in a test you'll be wondering what happens when you get mad error okay now mad error basically means there's no answer or it's divided by zero so what you can see here is the problem is, is the bottom the bottom is divided by zero okay and when the bottom is divided by zero it's undefined now there's one there's one uh, there's one value of tan that gives you undefined okay so for instance if you were to put tan 60 into your calculator what would you get just give me a, I think it's root 3 is it now if somebody put in tan 80 into my calculator what do you get tan 80 anybody 5.6. Now look what happens now. Tan 89, anybody? It's going to be a very big number. Alright, now watch this. Tan 89.9. 572.95. 5. Now look at this. 89.99. Uh, 5729 Okay, so basically guys, it's getting bigger and bigger and bigger. No, nope. do you want to know why it's getting bigger? As the angle, remember, tan equals opposite over adjacent. So what's happening guys is this. As the lines intersect each other, now I'm just going to do a standard line like this, okay? Now, does everybody see this angle in here? Uh, no, not that one. Okay, does everybody see this angle in here? Okay, this angle here. As this gets closer and closer to 90 degrees, what happens is the uh, opposite side becomes much larger than the adjacent. And then, 
eventually when you move to 90 degrees, what happens is the adjacent side no longer exists. That means it turns it to zero, which means that you don't get a value, you get undefined. So once again, let's go over this again. You can see that we can make a triangle out of this, but then once it goes up to 90 degrees, there's no triangle to be made, hence there's no tan of the angle, hence it's not defined. So anytime your calculator in this equation comes up as undefined, it means that they're at 90 degrees to each other. Okay, they're perpendicular to each other. Uh, Shane, you have a question? No, uh, one Okay. I'm now going to do 12 part 3 because 12 part 3 is a completely different question. Okay? So here we go. The whole point of this question is these three steps are y equals to mx plus c. For the two equations of the line you're given, get y on its own. Bring by over to the other side. We get by equals ax plus c. Divide by b. ab over x plus c over b. Stop there. You know that the slope of the first one is a over b. It's whatever comes in front of dx. Do repeat procedure for the second line. We gotta get y on its own. So we're gonna get a plus b times y. Move to d over the other side and move to b minus a over the other side. So we're gonna get is minus b minus a. And we're gonna get a minus d. So that's times x minus d. Now, shh, divide by a plus b. We divide by a plus b, what we're going to get is uh, minus bracket b minus a times x over a plus b minus d over a plus b. Please remember guys, once again, the slope is whatever comes in front of dx. That's all we're interested in, Hugo. Okay? So b2 equals, now we're going to multiply them by minus 1 and we'll get minus b plus a over a plus b. That's m1, that's m2. There's only one formula in this chapter. It means we're going to have to use it, okay, to find the angle. So once we have our two slopes, which is the information to my right, what we're going to do next is we're going to input them into the, uh, the equation. So we're going to get is tan theta equals, now m1 being a over b, m2 being, now we're going to use brackets here, because we need that minus b over a to be secured all over a plus b and then finally on the bottom it's going to be 1 plus a over b minus b plus a all over a plus b now guys this is tough what I'd like you to do is just sewn in on this green part here leave the rest of it alone for the time being just sort that bit out first, okay? So what we're gonna do is we're gonna get, I'm gonna multiply in by the minus, because I really want to get rid of it at the start, okay? So what we're gonna get is, I'm gonna get a plus b minus a. I'm just multiplying top by top, that's what you do for fractions. Remember, three over five multiplied by two over four is minus six over 20. You multiply top by top, bottom by bottom. And bottom by bottom in this case is just 1 multiplied by a plus b, which is still a plus b. Yes, Connor? Right, because you're not cross multiplied because it's one or just cross it off because it's being multiplied. So uh, they're not the same thing. You can't cancel them out. Yeah, the, the minus b plus a on the top of the moon. Yeah, you, I'm going to change it into plus b minus a. If you need to get that, then you do it right. So it's going to be a over b multiply in and we're going to get a plus it's going to be plus b minus a all over a plus b that's the top the bottom is still going to be one uh, this is going to multiply in here on top and we're going to get a sorry minus a b so one plus we're going to put this in brackets minus a b plus a squared all over a plus b stop there what we gotta do next is we gotta do our common denominator. Okay? To get a common denominator, what we need to do is we need to multiply this one by B. We need to multiply this one by A minus B. Would you prefer to do the three lines or would you prefer to just add in what I need to the denominator? Uh the bottom line on the uh bottom section B squared. Oh sorry, yeah, yeah. It's A B plus B squared, excuse me. Yep, you're right. 
Uh, guys, I'm going to keep it. Yeah, it's actually going to turn out to be the same thing. Yeah, so it's going to be B into A plus B. Perfect, thank you. Okay, guys, let's multiply this out. We're going to get A squared minus B plus B squared minus AB. Oh, wait, I made AB there as well, sorry, excuse me. AB there as well. Now, guys, main thing is to keep patient and just, just chip away at it bit by bit. On the bottom, we're going to have B into A plus B, or B multiplied by A plus B. That's only the top part. This part here is the same as this part here. Okay? Now we're on the bottom part. Okay? And on the bottom part, what we're going to have to do is we're going to have to multiply this part here by... We're going to have to introduce B into B plus A, or sorry, B plus A, and we're going to have to do it on top as well to get the same denominator. Okay, so what we're going to get is B squared plus AB minus AB plus A squared. Because uh, next one is B over A plus B. Now, what happens is, what happens when we divide a fraction by a fraction? So, flip them upside down, multiply them. Okay, so you guys, one, one thing here. See this uh, B, where is it on top? A, B, A squared, minus A, B. Okay, perfect, okay. So here's what's going to happen. We're going to turn it upside down. Change signs, okay. So what's going to happen next is we're going to have a. I'm just going to tell you this part up here. This part here is going to be a squared minus two ab plus b squared. That's on the bottom. And then spelling the mistake. Guys, the mistake here is this is a plus b, a plus b. Okay. Now it's very, it's very useful when you find that early on. Because that means it's going to be A plus B plus AB on the top. Okay. And then what happens next is when they cancel out, they cancel out. And what we're going to be left with is this. We're going to be left with a... Uh, we're going to be left with A squared plus B squared on the top. Divided by B into A plus B. And on the bottom, we're going to be left with A squared B squared divided by... B into A plus B. Now guys, what can you say from the two of these? They're actually the same. They're the same number. So it's going to be 1 over 1. Now the reason why I knew there was a mistake was I had this here. I would have ended up like this. And I know there's no way to cancel that off to give me a number. To get tan of an angle, I need to just have a number and everything had to cancel off. So what happens is... We're going to get tan theta equals the modulus of 1. This means that tan theta equals plus 1 or minus 1. The two angles in question are when you tan inverse it will be 45 degrees and 135. Did I ask for the acute angle or the obtuse? Acute angle of 45 degrees. Okay guys, number 14. P is 2, 6, R is 4, 0 are two vertices of a square PQRS where PR is the diagonal. Find the slope of PR and write down the Q angles between PQ and PR. All right, just square. Okay, just square. And what we're going to do is two vertices, PQR. They're on opposite sides to each other. So P, Q, R and S. Okay. Then you're right. What we're going to do next is we're going to join them together and ask us to find the slope P to R. And that's going to be uh, it's not it's not in like my points aren't in uh, order. Okay. I'm just drawing a rough sketch. So I'm going to get the slope. Okay. Slope is uh, x y two minus y one over x two minus x one. And what we're going to get here is, shh. okay, so what we're going to get here is 0 minus uh, 6, 4 minus 2, minus 6 over 2, which is minus 3. 
Okay, slope is minus three. Okay, everybody got that? Now, write down the Q angle between PQ and PR. PQ and PR. We know what it has to be, don't we? What it has to be? It's 90 degrees, but between the diagonal, it's got to be 45 degrees. Find the slope of PQ and PS. Okay, so we have to find the slope of here and here. Okay, to do this, does everybody remember what is the one equation we keep using over and over again in this chapter? Uh, now before that, tan theta equals m1 minus m2 all over. 1 bracket m1 plus m2. Now guys, shh, what I'm expecting here is it makes a 45 degree angle. This, the line PQ, does everybody see PQ? Does everybody see this? Oh, sorry, PR I mean. Does everybody see PR? Just two lines in this square that makes a 45 degree angle with this. It's the line PQ and the line PS. If I use the slope of PR as m1 okay and I say m2 equals m because I don't know any other slopes what you can do here Lloyd okay what you can do here is I can say that it's tan 45 because we know it's 45 degree angle and what we can say is it's m1 minus m2 divided by 1 plus m1 so it's going to be 1 plus minus 3 times m close brackets and what we're going to get is 1 equals minus 3 minus m divided by 1 minus 3m what do we need to do to both sides now? anybody? both sides? square, square both sides okay when we square both sides we're going to get 1 equals it's going to be minus 3 minus m squared which is minus 3 minus m minus 3 minus m and what we're going to get is 9 plus 3m plus 3m plus m squared on the bottom it's 1 minus 3m squared which is 1 minus 3m times 1 minus 3m which is going to give us uh, 1 minus 3m minus 3m plus 9m squared okay tidy up and square both sides so what we're going to get is this here is going to be 1 minus 6m plus 9m squared okay that's what it is so we're just going to rub out this part here bring it up yeah that's what it turns into and then we're going to cross multiply that upwards and what we're going to get is 1 minus 6m plus 9m squared equals 9 plus 6m plus m squared bring everything over to one side we're going to get a 9m squared minus m squared which is 8m squared we're going to get minus 6m minus another 6m excuse me equals minus 12m bring over to 9 1 minus 9 is minus 8 equals 0 stop there divide by 4 2m squared minus 3m minus 2 equals 0 reference number 2 multiplied by minus 2 is minus 4 minus 4 breaks up into minus 4 plus 1 and we're going to get 2m squared minus 4m plus 1m minus 2 equals 0 next thing we're going to get is take out 2m we're going to get 2m into m minus 2 plus 1 into m minus 2 equals 0 what we're then going to get is 2m squared oh sorry I'm going backwards there 2m plus 1 bracket m minus 2 equals 0 m equals 2 is one of the slopes m equals minus a half is the other slope what you know is about these two slopes they're at 90 degrees to each other how do I know that? 
Turn it upside down, change the sign. Minus 1 over 2 is the same as 2 over 1. I know I'm correct. That is the only way of doing that. There is no simple fix for that question. Did you get it? Okay, guys. Brings you up to the last one. Find the coordinates of Q and S. Okay, guys. This is going to be the difficult one. Find the coordinates of Q and S. Okay. I'm going to bring back up my slopes. I have to rub out all these workings, okay? It is a difficult question. Okay, guys. Shh. Now, to do the next part. Excuse me. Okay, guys. Now. What do we know about this? Uh, what do we know about this? This uh, sorry, square. What do we know about it? It's a square. All right, it's a square, right? Now, I have a way of getting Q and S. I'm going to show you now. It's not easy. Okay, here's what we're going to do. To get the interception of two, to get the the interception of two lines here's what we need to do okay the first thing is I don't know which slope belongs to which line do I? I actually don't know okay that's one thing I don't know now what I do know is that I can get the equation of a line here okay so what might what might help we can get the equation of the line because one of them basically yeah this is icky. What we know at the moment is two points. We know that this point here is 2, 6. We know that this point is 4, 0. What we also know is that the angle in between this line here and this line here, compared to the green line, is 45 degrees. What we also know is that there's two slopes. M equals minus a half and M equals 2. Currently, I don't know which one belongs to which line. That's why I'm going to draw it out more accurately on a on a on a proper graph with the points in the right position then I can figure out which slope belongs to which one. Does anyone in the class have any ideas how do we go about finding this point here and this point here? This one, okay. What happens here guys is we're gonna use the slope formula, we're gonna label the point X, Y of both of them, and we know that one of the slopes has to be minus a half. So what we're gonna do is this, okay? We're going to get a, this is x1, y1, this is x2, y2. And we're going to get is y minus 6 over x minus 2. That equals minus a half. Okay. We're going to cross multiply. And when we cross multiply, what we're going to get is we're going to get 2y minus 16, or sorry, 2y minus 12 equals minus x plus 2. Bring them over one side. We're going to get x plus 2y minus uh, equals, sorry, bring the 12 over. x plus 2y equals 14. Okay, that is our first equation. Okay, now that that's done, we're going to look for the second equation. The second equation, uh, second equation involves the, involves the slope of 2. Okay, so the slope is 2 because we know there's a perpendicular line to it and this time we're going to use the point 4 0 because one of these lines uh, one of these points okay if it's at a slope of minus 2 to the point P that means it has to be at a slope of 2 to the point R does that make sense yeah. slope 2 to the point R slope to the minus a half to the point P because they're at 90 degrees to each other we now have to use the point R. R is going to be 4, 0. It's x1, y1. Okay? And the point, this point is still the same. x, y, which is x2, y2. We're now going to get x, or sorry, y minus 0 divided by y minus 0 divided by x minus 4 equals 2. 
cross multiply what we get next is y equals 2x minus 8 okay now what we can do here is we're going to bring the 2x out here so we're going to get minus 2x plus y equals minus 8 we now have a simultaneous equation the simultaneous equation is minus 2x plus y equals minus 8 I'm going to multiply the top equation by 2 just let me finish it right 2x plus 4y equals 28 the bottom is going to be minus 2x plus y minus 8 okay now what we're going to get is 5y equals 20 y equals 4 okay now that y is equal to 4 we're going to find out what x is we're going to substitute 4 into this equation we're going to get 2x plus 4 times 4 is 16 equals 28 2x equals 28 minus 16 which is 12 x equals 6 okay this point is 6 4 now what we know is one of these points is 6 4 what would really help now is to draw it accurately we're gonna go to this and will somebody in the class call me out all three of those points please and then we'll find the final answer really easy okay so here's what happens okay first point is what guys the point P 2 6, two, six is located here okay what's the next point Four, zero. 2 6 4 0 what's the point I just got 6 and 4 6 4 okay now look at it how are we going to make a square out of this there's only one way of doing it it's down here somewhere and what it does is it'll have the same slope as the other one this is down 4 across 2 this one here will be down 4 across 2 the other point therefore must be 0 2 is that what's in the back of the book? Yeah. perfect so Okay, next one. The next one is number 15. Okay, and on number 15, L has a slope m, k has a slope 3. The acute angle between the lines is given by theta equals tan inverse a half. Okay, find the slope of P, find the acute angle between the lines is given by tan inverse a half. Find the values of m. Alright, this is a bit much easier question than the other one okay so lads here's what we're gonna do tan theta equals the modulus of m1 minus m2 all over 1 plus m1 times m2 what we're going to do next is this guys okay we're going to get okay tan if tan inverse if theta equals tan inverse a half, bring the tan back over. What they're basically telling you is tan theta is a half. That's what they're basically telling you from that information. If I ever say cos inverse, theta equals cos inverse uh, 3 over 5, I'm basically telling you cos theta is 3 over 5. That's what I'm telling you. Okay, now that we have that done, what we're going to do next is this. We're going to get a half equals the modulus of m minus 3 divided by 1 plus m times 3 and that's basically going to be I'm going to it's basically uh, okay guys it's basically m over 3 I'm oh, sorry m minus 3 divided by 1 plus 3m we're going to square both sides okay yeah square both sides a quarter equals m squared squaring this I am minus 6m plus 9 I'm squaring this one now on the bottom I'm gonna get 1 plus 6m plus 9m squared for those who don't understand it's m minus 3 squared divided by 1 plus 3m squared now that that's done what we're gonna do next is we're gonna get a 
cross multiply we're going to get 1 plus 6m plus 9m squared equals 4m squared minus 24m plus 36 okay then we're going to move it all over one side and what we're going to get next is what we're going to get next is 3m uh, 5m squared um, plus 30m because it's going to be 6m plus 24m and then finally you go 1 minus 36 is minus 35 equals 0 divide by 5 m squared plus 6 m minus 7 equals 0 reference number it when you reference number it it's going to be minus 7 plus uh, sorry plus 7 plus w minus 1 and what we're going to get is m equals 1 or m equals minus 7 there's our two slopes uh, find the values of m that's it done yes